Hi guys, welcome back. For today's video, I wanted to continue on last week's topic of why I do not need to buy another designer handbag, but then this kind of happened and that idea went out through the window. So before you guys shoot me for not being able to follow my own advice, this is actually not a handbag that I bought. What happened was my friend was here the other day and she was going through my stuff. She was kind of helping me sort out through a lot of things that um, I'm trying to get rid of in the house. And we were going through my handbags and she happened to come across my Chanel Elegant chain bag. So that is a handbag I think I did a video very long ago, around like eight months ago. I think it's one of the first videos on this channel. But anyways, I hadn't been using that handbag a whole lot and she asked if she could borrow it. And and I was like, yeah, sure, gladly lend it to you. Let me know what you think about it. And maybe I could also do an update video on that in the future. So anyways, she took that handbag and while we were still sorting out through my stuff, I started thinking about what handbag does she have that I want to borrow. And I remember her mentioning that she had the mini Lindy. And I was like, by the way, just out of curiosity, are you using your mini Lindy? And really at this point, I had no idea that she would actually lend it to me because of course this is a very expensive bag. It's also very rare and hard to find. So I thought she would say, no way. But surprisingly, she's like, yeah, 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 go ahead. Um, you, can, you can borrow it. If you wanna do a YouTube video about it, go ahead. I, I think she also really liked the idea that her bag would be on a YouTube video. So yeah, the next day I was able to get this handbag from her and here it is. I am so, so, so excited about this because I know that this is such a hard to find handbag and right away I put in all of my stuff. So this is actually filled with all of my stuff already and surprisingly I absolutely love it you know it just fits in so much stuff but wait I am getting ahead of myself so wait let's first start with the details of this handbag and then of course I will go into what fits on the inside and I will do mod shots so typical video structure just getting ahead of myself because I am just so excited about this handbag Beginning first with the details of this handbag. This one is in the Etan color, which is a beautiful neutral gray. And then it has gold hardware and it is in Clement's leather. In terms of sizing, this is the mini Lindy or the Lindy 20. So the Lindy also comes in a lot bigger sizes like the 26, the 30, the 36, but then the strap is only a shoulder strap. The nice thing about the mini Lindy is that it comes with uh, this long crossbody strap, which you can wear it either as a shoulder strap or you can wear it as a crossbody strap and I find that this length is perfect even though it's not adjustable. So I really love the fact that it comes with a crossbody strap because one of the things that I didn't like about the bigger Lindy's was this portion. I always found that whenever I was using a larger Lindy and it was going underneath my shoulder I would like advertedly hit my um, elbow or my arm against here and then that thing sticking out would hurt it. So anyways, um, that's just one of the things that I really didn't like about the larger Lindy. Although in terms of aesthetics, I've always super, super gravitated towards the look of the Lindy. Anyways, uh, going back to the sizing, the mini Lindy is 20 centimeters across, or it's called the Lindy 20 because it's supposed to be 20 centimeters across, but when I actually measured this, this is only about 19.5 centimeters. In inches, that's 7.5. So across here, that would be 7.5 inches. Uh, across here, in terms of the width, this is 3.5 inches. And then the height is about five inches without this handle drop. So it is definitely a mini sized handbag, but despite the small size, it can contain a whole lot. And I have filled this bag up to the brim, but it contains everything that I would usually need to carry around with me on a daily basis. So I was really, really happily surprised by that fact that it could contain so much on the inside of this handbag. Anyways, let me first finish the details before we get into what is actually inside the handbag. So 
gold hardware to the bottom right here it has four feet the larger lindy actually has another foot right in the center part so when you put it down of course it won't scratch the bottom of the leather but since this is just a small bag this one has four feet and then to the side right here it has a convenience pocket on both sides i've seen some people they put their cell phone on the side pocket but i wouldn't recommend it simply because this is it's going to stretch out the leather and I wouldn't want that look. I mean, I don't really like the look of sagging leather. So this one, you would just really use it either for your Metro card or if you like have just parked or something and then you put your parking ticket in here, it would definitely fit. So you could put a card in there. Uh, my iPhone Plus does not fit at the side right here. So you would need the smaller size iPhone to fit. So I do not see why anybody would put their iPhone right here anyways. I don't think it's very secure. But anyways, that is just uh, one point that I wanted to make in this video. So where I would usually put my phone is actually on the inside of this handbag. And this is very easy to get in and out of. I mean, you just have like these two small zippers right here, unbutton that and then pull that open and what I love about this handbag is that it has such a huge opening so Clement's leather is going to get softer over time so you will see a little bit of sagging especially on the flap area which doesn't really bother me but um, yeah it just really adds to the appeal actually of the handbag because when you hold it like this it kind of makes that sort of dumpling shape it looks better when there's actually nothing on the inside of the handbag right now it just looks crumpled but anyways I will show you guys later when the bag is empty so right now I have like all of my stuff on the inside of this handbag and yeah I was going to show you guys my phone that's right I'm so sorry this video is um, getting a little bit messy but anyways uh, this is my iPhone uh, 7 plus so it does fit exactly with wise into the full uh, into the bag itself so just put that in there and then I like to keep it right here on the inside and I find that oops I've stuffed it a little too full and I find that it is actually very easy to get in and out of so just putting your phone in there is no problem the next thing that i have inside this handbag is a dust bag which is uh full of face masks so i just kind of like use this to cover up some extra face masks that i carry around with me just in case some people might need or like the loop breaks or something i just wanted to have extra or spare with me all the time and then the next thing that i have in this is a mini pochette so this bag actually will fit the mini pochette which is really really nice uh, this mini pochette is completely full with uh, tissue paper and lip balm and hair ties and it's just a catch-all for everything basically so this one is completely full and it fits on the inside of this handbag as well and then I just have really quickly my car keys or my house keys so that comes in this little pouch right here and then I have also a card holder the only thing about this is it cannot fit a long wallet that was the only thing that I did not like about this handbag is it wouldn't contain my my Chanel wallet which is the one that I usually bring around with me but that's more of a longer wallet so what I had to do is uh, put everything into a small card holder and this one is actually not even branded but it does look really really nice I actually really like this card holder um, it looks expensive but actually it's a very very cheap card holder and it's made out of leather as well um, it only looks expensive because of the design but anyways I will talk about that in another video and then um, I also have with me my um, RFID card holder and this is just for all of my credit cards so now the bag is empty so I can show you guys the inside it is really really huge in terms of capacity especially since it looks like it's such a small bag surprisingly it can fit a whole lot on the inside so to the inside or the sides right here they do have like extra pockets as well which are flushed against the side i don't really know what you can use them for 
if for instance you didn't want to bring around a wallet it could fit in like extra cash or extra cards and you could just keep them at the side if you wanted to but i haven't found myself actually using that part of the handbag so i am going to close this off right now and show you guys how it looks when it's empty so it looks like that and i think it's super super cute for the next part of the video, I am going to do mod shots, but first I wanted to compare this in size for you with the Hermes Mini Evelyn. So this is my Hermes Mini Evelyn, and then in terms of sizing, this is how it looks. So the Evelyn is uh, definitely taller, but they kind of look like the same size, although this one can contain so much more. The Mini Lindy just contains everything that you would need. I'm just so shocked at how much this bag can contain. And I think part of the reason is because when you turn it to the side, you can see that um, this one has a much larger side as compared to the Mini Evelyn. Moving on to mod shots. One of my main concerns about the Hermes Mini Lindy before I had a chance to try one out is that it might be a little too bulky. So I am not really a fan of bags that have a very large base because I find that they jut out a little too much from my body. But once I was actually able to try this Mini Lindy, I found that it actually curves very nicely to your body. Another thing that I like about it is that the strap is not fussy at all. So it doesn't have any hardware that might dig into your skin. It's just one long leather piece and it's very, very comfortable to wear. The width is the perfect width. It's a little over an inch wide and it just really hugs your body quite nicely. By the way guys, for height reference, I am 5'4", and I've also included shots with the Mini Evelyn just so that you guys can compare side by side the drop length and uh, the size of the handbag. Anyways, those are my initial thoughts on the Hermes Mini Lindy. Truthfully, I absolutely adore this handbag. I mean, it is such a perfect size. It looks very casual, but at the same time, it does have that sort of elegant appeal. I'm not so sure if I'm just talking because it has, of course, the Hermes logo. But at the same time, I just really, really love the way that this handbag looks. And I love opening and closing the zipper as well. I don't know, something is just so satisfying about this handbag and the fact that it just contains so much on the inside I mean you just cannot go wrong with the Hermes Mini Lindy so if you guys are offered one from Hermes I would say definitely jump on the opportunity because I do know that these are very hard to find I've also seen them in the resale market selling for as much as like a Birkin or a Kelly so they are getting really expensive and they are also kind of rare in the world of Hermes Thank you all for watching. I hope you did enjoy this week's video. If you got this far, please do remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you aren't already, please consider subscribing as well to my channel. I try to do weekly videos on all different topics. Right now, it happens to be designer handbags. I also talk about plants and recently, I've also got into more home and living topics as well. Anyways, guys, please do take care and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.